Let's get started on this risotto. I am so excited. I hope that you have all your ingredients ready to go. We are going to start with a nice big pan and we are going to add approximately two tablespoons of olive oil to this pan. You want to make sure that your pan is hot and we're going to just get that oil around the pan so it covers the bottom. Once the pan is covered with the oil and the oil is semi-hot, we are going to add our diced onion. Now I have diced these pretty fine and you can also use shallots if you like. I just love the flavor of onion in this risotto because it's so simple. And we are going to saute these onions until they become nice and translucent, meaning they are clear and they are soft. Once your onions are soft, it's time to add our, our barrio rice. This is the risotto rice. We're not using regular rice here. Make sure you are using the proper rice. We're going to gently saute this rice in the pan with the onion until all the rice is coated with that beautiful olive oil. Now it's time to add our garlic. Now I am going to press the garlic in here. I am using four cloves of roasted garlic. I roasted these garlic cloves earlier. I just put them in a pan with some olive oil, put them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and they came out perfect. The roasted garlic adds a wonderful aroma and also a nice flavor to this risotto. You don't have to use roasted garlic. You can use regular garlic if you like, but that roasted garlic is going to step it up a notch. After you have pressed your garlic into your rice, we're just going to mix this all together. And I'm telling you right now, the aroma is wonderful. It's time to turn up the heat on your stove. I am turning this up to a level six and I am adding my alcohol. You can use white wine. I didn't have white wine, so I am using a hard cider. It has similar flavors, and the result should be typically the same. Time for us to roll up our sleeves, and we have to stay focused because for the next 25 to 30 minutes, we are focused on this risotto. It smells absolutely amazing right now. We are burning all the alcohol off of that wine and once the rice has absorbed all of the liquid it's time to start adding our broth now this broth has been on the stove and it is boiling is at the same temperature as my pot you do not want to add cold liquid to your risotto i'm going to start by adding approximately two cups of liquid and you know your broth is hot enough because your pot continues to boil. You want those bubbles. We're going to let this rice cook in that liquid until it absorbs most of it. Once you're able to run your spoon through it and you can see the bottom of the pan, it's time to add more liquid. And we're going to do this approximately three to four more times. So you're going to add more liquid. You're going to allow the risotto to cook and absorb the liquid. And once the liquid is all absorbed, we're going to add more. So you have to stay focused, you have to pay attention, and you have to make sure you taste your risotto to see it's done. This. I'm trying it right now and it's still crunchy. It's not ready, so guess what? I'm gonna have to go in and add some more stock. I've added enough stock where I don't have to use the ladle. I can just eyeball it by pouring it in. I think that's enough. Well, let me just add a little bit more. After this one, we probably have, I would say, maybe two more rounds of this. The stock is getting low, but I think maybe one more. We probably have one more round and we are good. While the rice is cooking in the stock, I might as well go ahead and chop up my parsley for the garnish. You have to make sure your garnishes are ready. This is a great use of the time. Let me go back um, and check on the risotto to see how it's doing. It should be just about ready. 
Yes, I have been getting a nice facial over the steam of this risotto, but can you see it? It's plumping up. It's looking nice and delicious and fluffy. Everything's smelling amazing. I'm going to go in and I want to taste it to see the doneness of my risotto. You don't want the rice to be crunchy. You want it to be nice and soft. I would say it needs to go about five more minutes. We have one more round left. I'm going to pour in the remainder of the stock and I'm going to allow this to cook and finish off and get nice and creamy and fluffy. Look at this. Our risotto is done. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to just go in and mix all those flavors together. Look at this. It's nice. It's creamy. It's fluffy. Now it's time to season it up. We're going to add just some pepper. I'm going to add some butter and of course some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. We're going to mix this all in and this is smelling and looking amazing. You already know what time it is. It's time to plate this up. Let's get it. Before I plate this up, I do want to add some freshly chopped parsley. The parsley is going to add a nice brightness to the risotto and it also adds a beautiful color. I want to make sure that the parsley is totally mixed in. Look at that. It looks delicious. Now it's time to plate. I am starting with a nice thick bowl because we're going to get a good helping of this risotto. This is the main course. I am going to spoon the risotto in the middle of the bowl. I'm using a black bowl because I think it adds a beautiful contrast to the light risotto. And you see the green pieces of parsley. Presentation is everything we eat with our eyes first. I'm going to go ahead and add one more ladle of risotto to this bowl because it's delicious. I'm going to garnish it with some more freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Of course, I'm going to hit it with some parsley on top because it adds that beautiful color. And there you go. Fresh risotto. Bon appetit. Let's eat.